Thank you very much, uh, Minister. Kaute tangenganga lala kubanzima uba misabanda. Na ustole la kama wetu. Namasi shuel kasha time has um, run out. But we are moving on towards the conclusion of our program. At this point, with that Vesta Kadebe Eti, send the Ibonika na nenguna pagate. Uze elu Kadebe. Kuna bandwa. Obviously, kai uze elu shuku tuna bandwa. So, nzo kelage. Usapo luwa Kadebe. Abandwa na baga Kadebe. Beze nga pambi li bake bazo guti. Ama asli. Kutata wabo. Mwenye wa wendu, nika mwenye di mwubo prophet sato wa mwanyosi ukefawe. Sendi Anubuli salonge, eka mene lika Yesu Christu. Amen. Ika malam, umasha, zebeza. I am a close friend of the family, and I will be reading on behalf of Unosipu Mayus. Dear Dada, today is day number nine since you left us. It still feels unreal, almost as though it's a dream. It's as if at any moment you will walk in that door, cool, calm, and collected, with that warm smile on your face, accompanied by that attentive look, immediately asking, You make it? What's it? Eh, Kuku? Swile? Mui? Followed by, What do you need me to do? You were always on our team. From you, We've learned leadership. You were the greatest example of a true leader at home. We always felt and knew we were safe. One time I was driving your car around town. I must have been running some of your errands. I needed to refuel the car and I chose the BP garage around the corner from our house. It was a busy Friday afternoon at the petrol station, but I noticed that as soon as I approached the petrol attendants, they evidently fought amongst themselves to serve me. I thought, you? I need to work very hard so that I can own this type of car if it means this VIP treatment. Only at the end, the lucky petrol attendant whose station I had chosen remarked and said, Oh, Pio Prof, Kalogu Eyaki, Sibona is a chigela in moto. Yo, umtu, utatawe. You can imagine the pressure I then felt to give him what would be an appropriate tip. <laughs> we remember you for teaching us family values and the importance of spending quality time together. Sundays are always family days at our house. Thank you for the gift of time. You would come home, find us watching TV, you would put your feet up and join in with questions asking, You might get, Go beyond Salon. Thank you for instilling a love for hard work and excellence in us. You always told me, Mui, excellence is a standard to strive for. 
Thank you for your laughter. You were still the funniest person we knew. You allowed us to constantly laugh at you and with you. Your thirst for knowledge and learning has always fascinated us. And it's also rubbed off on us. You did not know an off day, a rest day. There are many examples of this, but I must share a story about the one time we went on holiday to Zanzibar. We went on a spice tour, learning about spices and coffee grounds grown in that region. We asked the most questions and went on further to take notes of all the information shared by our tour guide. <laughs> on our way back to our accommodation, with everyone clearly exhausted, you took out your phone and started with a quiz. You asked, so girls, who can tell me which spice is? <laughs> Thank you for loving Umama and displaying the highest levels of respect for her. Thank you for supporting her and encouraging her while we watched on. We promise to continue to live by your values and the ones you have instilled in us. We promise to continue to live by your values and live the full life of purpose and humility. Siagobulela Khadel, Shubi, Klebentle, Zombini, Lala Ngotolo, Kawe, Lama Kawe, Siagosala, Sibutanda. Molueni, Dinoma Pongo Zingitwa. Uh, a close family friend. Um, I'll be reading this on behalf of Savule Manana. My father was the most wonderful dad a girl could ask for. I thank God for loving me because I don't think I would have known I could even ask for such an incredible father. There isn't enough time to express my heart, but I'll try in these few minutes. Udata never left us guessing whether or not we were loved. He made sure we knew we were loved. He prioritized dinner times, 7 p.m. shop, where we would sit around the dinner table and bond as a family, night after night. Here we would talk about how our day was, what our challenges were. We would debate, laugh, and enjoy one another. He made us feel known and treasured. He took the time to impart wisdom. He taught us the importance of making a contribution to this world. He taught us to love the poor and to love those different from us, ourselves. He taught us the value of hard work and to do everything wholeheartedly and with excellence. One of my favorite things Dada used to do with us is to take us on dates. We would go to the theater, to movies, and dinners. This is where we learned that we as daughters, as women, were special and that we deserved to be treated accordingly. He would show us how valued we were And that one day, when a young man would try who us, we would know what the standard is. He grounded us so that we know who we are. He always told us how proud he was of us. When I attended UCT as a medical student, people always used to ask me if I don't feel the pressure because of how much my father had achieved. I always used to say, that I don't feel the pressure because at home, we were encouraged to be ourselves and live out our own purpose. He was our biggest cheerleader. My dad was my everything, my example of humility and kindness, hard work and determination, excellence and tenacity. What an honor and a privilege 
it has been to call him Udadawam. I'm eternally grateful to God. I will miss his infectious smile and wonderful love. Thank you for imparting all that we need to carry on. I love you, Dada. Lalango Kol. Until we meet again. I greet you all in the name of the Almighty Lord Jesus. Amen. My name is Busiswa Ahosi, and I'll be reading a letter written by Ramadu for Dad Bungan. Dada, this is by far the hardest thing I have ever had to do. Writing this letter to you on this day that has come far too soon. What I wish to say is thank you. There are so many things that I'm thankful for, most of all to God for blessing me with a dada like you. Thank you, Dada, firstly, for loving Mama selflessly. In doing so, you fully lived out the scripture in Ephesians that reads, A husband, husbands, love your wives as Christ loves the church. To illustrate this, one of the many ways in which Udada served Umama was that he did the groceries every single week. This was because, in his words, a true African man hunts for the food to provide for his family. <laughs> and it was during these many hunting excursions that ever the scientist, he used to time himself in an effort to calculate his average time spent at pick and pay in Pinelands. <laughs> which, if I remember correctly, was about 23.5 minutes. <laughs> Secondly, I would like to thank you, Dada, for loving Sis Ngui, Vui and I in the fierce and unconditional way in which you did. Thank you that when you came home for dinner at seven every night, you took off your blazer, loosened your tie, and kissed us all, and to us was simply Dada. I'll never forget the night Mama and Dada were having a heated debate about the age at which one could officially be called a teenager. <laughs> Dada was convinced it was from the age of 10, and Mama knew that it was in fact 13. <laughs> Sis Mui, Vui and I quickly saw an opportunity to get out of washing the dishes and proposed that whoever loses the argument should wash the dishes. <laughs> Once both parties had agreed, we then brought out the, the trusty encyclopedia to find the definition of a teenager. Once it had been settled, Dada humbly rolled up his sleeves, cleaned the table, and washed all the dishes with the infectious smile on his face. Thirdly, Thank you, Dada, for teaching us the value of a good work ethic and inspiring us to be the best. Some of Dada's many sayings included both, the, there's no problem that hard work can't fix, and if you believe you can't, you're right, but if you believe you can, you're also right. This taught us that it was not only about working hard, but also about the attitude with which we approach the problem at hand. Dada always had the most positive regard towards others. He extended so much grace, compassion, and understanding towards everyone that he encountered. I remember a time in junior school when Dada volunteered to manage a stand at the, mar at the morning market. He was such a hit with all the parents that the teachers and my fellow students always remembered him volunteering, even though it was only that one encounter that they'd had with him. This just showed how, no matter how small or insignificant the task may have been, Dada always strived for excellence. Dada also always encouraged us to be excellent. I remember coming home one day in primary school, excited to tell, to tell Dada that I'd gotten 16 out of 20 for a spelling test. His response was, oh, okay, good job, Baba. But what happened to the remaining four marks? <laughs> All Dada meant by that statement was that 
Although he acknowledged that I'd done a good job, uh, that I'd done well, he still recognized excellence in me beyond what I saw in myself. Mama and Dada raised us to understand our potential for excellence and did everything they could to guide us in unlocking our own unique passions. Dada, for your support, encouragement and guidance, I thank you. Lastly, thank you Dada for raising us to follow Christ. Dada's character was always the thing that I admired the most about him. I thank you for teaching us about living a life of purpose and how everything we do in our lives and all our accomplishments are ultimately to bring God all of the glory. Dada was the most humble man I have ever known. And that humility was something that he constantly prayed for. Thank you for being the best father I could have ever asked for, asked God for. And thank you for surrounding us with father figures whom we've grown up with and who ensured, um, I beg your pardon, um, we've grown up with whom you ensured are able to continue to guide us through the journey of life. Well, I wish you could have been able to walk me down the aisle at my wedding. I know that you will forever live on through me and the countless number of people you influenced. I am forever blessed to have had you in my life, Dada. I love you. Lala ngotolo, Dada. Diakutana kakuma. Ingoz. Thank you very much to the Mayos.